everybody. How you doing? You doing good? I hope so. I um I've been very busy this week. I apologize for the lack of uploads, but I've been trying to prepare all of my Halloween content for this month. I um I'm at the good old tennis courts right now, and now I never played at tennis before, but I would like to one day if I could find a friend with a couple of rackets. Heck, I just found this ball and another one out in those woods behind me. I've been out here doing some walking and some jogging and doing some, uh, trying to film some of the content for my cringy Halloween special volume two. I'm not quite sure what's going to be all in it, because most of it's random. I mean, I have a little map about what I need to film and how I need to film it, but it, it's, it's a lot easier to plan it out than it is to actually go out there, film it, and then edit it, you know. That's the life of a YouTuber, I guess. Hope you're getting entertained by my ball throwing right now. Let's see if I can get, let's see if you can get entertained by this. Oh, right in the schnoz. But, yeah. So, um, this month is still going to be pretty busy for me now. Um, I want to thank Nick Bass and Dead Jason Tom for giving me their advice last week. To sum it all up, they just pretty much told me to screw other than just keep working on me until I do get big, you know. They didn't say it in the exact words, but they seem to think that I need to work on myself and work by myself until I can find help. And not well not to rely on others right and that is a completely good advice especially when you ain't got no other options i mean i'm kind of optionless right now i don't have many friends okay i'm in this i'm in the trenches by myself for the most part and at rare occasions i might i may have an ally like will come into the trenches with me and help me do a little bit but i don't like bugging him too often you know but I, I appreciate Will being there. He's been there for me about 12 years now. I think he met back in 05 or 06 on the um, elementary school playground, you know? But, yeah, so... I want to give an update about what my Halloween costume is going to be this year. Now, every Halloween, I want to try to do something different, something out of the box, right? Now, this city, um, this city is kind of backwards redneck for the most part, right? So, if I was going to do something th this year that would be different, I had to do something unique, you know? I have never seen a Dragon Ball Z costume here in town, right? So, my main costume this year is going to be, drumroll please, Piccolo. That's right. The, the planet Namekian Piccolo. Am I the only one hearing an echo right now? I hear an echo. Hello? Echo. My name is Ed. <laughs> but anyway, I, I apologize for not having anything written down right now. It's just me, the camera, and I figured while I was out here filming, I might as well film tomorrow with everybody because it's Sunday, you know? Which, uh, by the way, I hope you guys enjoyed the Super Showdown. Guys, I thought the event was I. The, the, the event was good. I give it four booyahs, you know. I mean, I looked at that Undertaker and Triple H match because I know that's the one that people wanted me to talk about. And I, I need to apologize to The Undertaker, okay? The Undertaker, he's probably one of my wrestling favorites. He, he is my wrestling favorite. You ask me, I always think that The Undertaker is probably the best wrestler of all freaking time, in my opinion. And I said in the description box of that ring ramblings that I uploaded this past Friday, I said that if Undertaker's going to last at least 12 minutes, then he can still go. And I watched that match, and he went, to, I think at a minimum, he went about 20 minutes. Yeah. And there was this one move from The Undertaker that I haven't seen him done in a while. And I'm pretty sure that because of his age and because of his um physical status, he wasn't able to do it anymore, right? But they freaking... That match trolled us hard. Okay, the move I'm talking about is when Undertaker hits the ropes and then he leaps 
over the top rope and does that dive of his. I, I can't remember the last time I seen him do that. Maybe it was WrestleMania 27 when he did face Triple H, but I can't remember when he uh, did that move and they landed through the um, coal mine, you know. But Undertaker went to go do that move and he got cut off. And boy, oh boy, that big old boo that they got. Yeah, I'm not sure if he can, still can do that or not, but I, I want to see him try to do that at least one more time. Just one more dive, dead man. One more dive. And that ending right there about how uh, Kane and Undertaker turned on DX, I, um, I, it is impossible to turn Undertaker heel at this point, okay? Undertaker has so much respect in his name that you can't get anybody to boo that man. No, you can't. You, you, you can send Undertaker out there to badmouth Connor's cure, and he'll probably still not get any boos. I, I, I'm just saying. But... Yeah. Oh boy. But look guys, stay tuned to SSP this week and as a reminder guys, um I am going live on the Monday before Halloween. Sorry guys, my brain is scrambled from this heat out here. Um the Monday before Halloween is the live Google Hangout costume party. I think it's the twenty seventh, but don't quote me. But um Oh yeah, before I forget, speaking of Undertaker, there's one last thing I forgot, okay. Um, my self standard show Halloween special. I'm not sure if it's going to be a thing or not, because I had a plan to upload some uh, behind-the-scenes footage from this Belize Roasting Massacre, and I didn't have much footage for it. And apparently, I lost the footage of the unboxing of the Leatherface mask that I got. So that was kind of sad. Hmm. And plus, when I was meeting up with Josh Wilkins, I was supposed to film some stuff then, but we we, we were so busy we we couldn't even get to that part yet because we were trying to hurry up and get the movie finished that day, you know. But maybe I'll get to see Josh Wilkins before the actual week of Halloween. Who knows? But um, there's two activities going on that I would like to go to, right? And I'm gonna have a second costume. Now, the activities I'm talking about is one, going to scare winds, right? And the other activity is going to um, a haunted trail. Now, this town always has a haunted trail. I, I completely forgot about it. I've never been on one. But if I'm going to go to the haunted trail, and if I'm going to go to scare winds, then mark my words, I'm going dressed as the Undertaker. Mm-hmm. I'm going to dress up The Undertaker now about the whole Scarewinds thing. I've been to Carowinds multiple times before, and I've heard of Scarewinds for years, but I've never gone. I mean, I've been to Carowinds when there was Scarewinds decorations up, but I've never been to actual Scarewinds during their Scarewinds hours, you know. And the few times that I have gone to Carowinds, I think I've gone like two times since I launched SSP. I tried filming some stuff for a video there, but because it was for a Christian music day, um, there wasn't much to do in the little amount of time that I had to do it in, you know? So I couldn't get enough footage filmed. So if I can find a cameraman with me that day, I might be able to go to Scarewinds. Because I don't scare in person easily. And I, haven't, I don't remember actually feeling scared like, holy crap! Something like that, you know? I want a jump scare. And I guarantee you, Scare Winds is going to give it to me, you know? And I would want those jump scares on freaking camera. That would be so amazing, you know? But, yeah, guys. Um, Y'all have a blessed week. Y'all wish me luck. As a reminder, the um, Belize Wrestling Master is coming out on October the 20th. Let's hope this movie turns out all right. And... L let's just see where this goes, okay? Because last time I shared the trailer out, nobody said a word to it. Not, not, not nobody, not know how. But yeah, I'm out here now. I'm, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here now. Bye bye. So long. Make sure you be outrageously optimistic year round. Booyah. I'm out. And here comes my hug of appreciation. I love you all. Peace.